Hello guys, welcome. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial how to create a command line to-do list application for efficient task organization. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how you can create your own command line tool with Python programming. As you can see on the screen, you can uh, add new task to uh, to-do list, uh, delete task, view task, and the other is create. For example, if I choose one, uh, it allow me to create or enter new task. I have a meeting at 10 p.m. Now the task is added successfully, and I can uh, also add more tasks into ta uh, to-do list. Uh, so, uh, so to build this application, I will show you a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorials. So don't uh, forget like, share, subscribe. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I have defined uh, an MET list on top of this uh, script uh, because this is going to store uh, newly created uh, tasks. And the other function is the add function, add task function, which is to add new tasks to uh, tasks list. And the other uh, view tasks, delete tasks, and uh, the define uh, the main uh, task that's going to run the to-do list application. So the add task is already implemented here. I don't repeat again. And it's just allow you to enter new tasks in the command, as you can see on the screen here, command uh, on command line, and the then the new uh, input tasks can be added to the tasks list, and you can see that uh, once the task is added, you can see the message task added is successfully. The next step I'm going to implement is just view tasks. Uh, when you are uh, selecting, for example, three, you can see the list of tasks uh, uh, which which are added in the tasks uh, list. Okay, let's go on. Now I have just finished uh, view tasks uh, implementation and I can run the code again and I, I will show you uh, how you can add new tasks. And the second one is just implementing delete task. To uh, delete a task from the to-do list, I am going to show you how you can do that. Let's go on. Okay, now I have uh, just implemented the delete task function. So when you are pressing uh, the delete task uh, option, uh, you can uh, delete the task from the to-do list. And finally, I'm going to implement uh, the main function that going, that's gonna be uh, just uh, call all functions I have defined in the above, delete task, uh, view tasks, and add task functions. And finally, just this uh, is a loop that's going to run uh, iteratively. Okay. Now, uh, I will show you a step-by-step -step how, how to just implement and uh, call 
the functions to perform all actions I have defined above. Okay. Okay, uh, as you can see, I have just implemented the main function that's gonna be uh, run the command line to do list application and call all the functions and uh, you can choose the options from uh, the menu and you can just call, for example, if you choose one, you can call add uh, task function and you can add new uh, task to the to do list and if you choose two, uh, you can call the function view tasks and uh, you can see the list of ta tasks added in the to-do list. And the uh, your choice is three. Uh, you can delete task. You can call the function delete task and you can delete tasks from to-do list and so on. If, if you, your choice is out of uh, those uh, uh, options, it is invalid. You can try again and uh, let's run this code now. Yeah, this code uh, just displays add task, view task, delete task. Let me choose one to add a task. Okay. I have a meeting at 10 p.m. Now the task is added successfully and the menu is uh, displayed again. And let me again add, I will uh, leave the class soon. Okay, now uh, if I wanna just list uh, the tasks, I can choose two. Uh, the list of tasks added in the are displayed here, you can see, and the second task. If if you wanna just delete the tasks from the to-do list, you can choose three. Uh, then the tasks are displayed here and you can uh, enter the task number to delete. For example, if you choose one, you can delete the first task, one. Task uh, successfully deleted, and you can view the tasks are uh, deleted or not by pressing, by choosing two. Yeah, I have left one task in the task list or to do list because uh, I have already deleted one task from to do list. And if you want to just exit, you can press four. Thank you for using to do list applications.